Good morning, everyone. I'm here at an EV summit, an electric vehicle summit. So you can see there's a number of different vehicles here. There are small vehicles like the electric trikes, then there are the larger ones like the electric buses. So let's go take a look. If we start over here, you can see a QC EG. This thing is very, very cute. Although it's still the older style with the rear entrance loading and the ceiling looks a little bit low, but it's electric, so that's a good start. Then you've got these ones here and they're more for vendors. So you can see it's designed to hold food. So you could be selling ice cream or maybe hot food. And you can see on the top, they've got solar panels. So these solar panels actually recharge the batteries while they're sitting around. Let's see what else they've got. Here's another, what looks to be like a food truck. Um, even more solar panels on this one. These are from Star 8. We've seen them in previous videos. They're very well known for EV vehicles here in the Philippines, especially with solar on top. Here's one of their smaller trikes. So you might find this one, say, down the side streets, whereas this is one of their larger luxury trikes. So this is the kind that you'd find, say, in a Barocai resort or maybe a private subdivision. These are very, very luxurious. And of course, they're all electric, which means no noise, no emissions. Then you've got these larger vehicles, the modernized minibuses or modernized jeepney, depending on how you look at it um, you can see from small to big they really go quite large and imagine these are all electric so completely silent no emissions very environmentally friendly I can see that one there does have a solar panel on top but I'm not sure about these two here now one of the things I've heard from people who are like anti PUV modernization is the solar panels aren't going to be able to keep up with the demand. For instance, you might have to drive 100 kilometers in a day where well, the solar panels aren't going to provide enough power. And that's true. The bulk of the charging still comes by plugging it into the wall. All the solar does is extend the range. So it might give you, say, another 20 kilometers in a day or something like that. It's not designed to be purely solar. It just extends the range. So let's continue taking a look around. Here's one of their buses that we saw before. Very, very, very nice. And here you can see the tarpauling they have. Transport Summit 2017 e-vehicle for the new generation. So this is here at the QC Hall, uh, Quezon City Hall. So it's nice that they've given up this space for this event. So over here you can see some other vehicles. Um, this looks like the kind that you would typically find at CDR King. Um, it's actually quite cute. It's like a mini pickup truck. But again, it's all electric, so no emissions. Just plug it into the wall and charge it. And typically, it's actually cheaper to operate an electric vehicle because the cost per kilometer that you're traveling is much less and the maintenance is much less compared to a regular car. So typically, an electric vehicle costs more to buy in the first place, but then you earn that back over time, a bit like solar panels. So this one's an open type jeepney. And then here we've got another tricycle. This one looks, yeah, a little bit smaller, but still quite nice. It's from Go Electric Tojo Motors Corp. So I don't know if this is being manufactured locally or not. Um, looks quite a bit smaller than some of the others, but good for the back streets because tricycles typically are a little bit smaller. Um, of course, we've got BMAC here. We've seen them in uh, previous videos. Although this is the first time I've seen this clothes type, um, good for businesses that need to transport stuff. And here's the typical tricycle that we saw um, in Alamino City and some other locations. Hey, yeah. And this one, oh, this is quite nice. It's like a pickup truck. Oh, this is also from BMAC, but it hasn't been painted yet. So this must also be a new model. It's like a pickup truck. Very nice. I'd like to try drive that one. Here's another small electric trike. These ones look kind of similar, actually. I think they're, yeah, one has got a closed type back and the other one has got seating. But otherwise, I think these two are actually the same models, just slightly different at the back, whether you want storage and transport or if you want uh, passengers. So that's quite cool. And then you've got another one of the little QC e-Jeeps here. But again, this is the older style. Um, still quite nice and still electric, but it is the older style. So that was just a quick video about these modernized vehicles, the electric vehicles. You're going to see more and more of these on the road soon. It will take time and there is a, you know, a little bit of expense up front to buy these vehicles, but in the long run, you earn it back. So yeah, just a quick walk around the event. If you did enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.